for uh, candidates and employers. So, in fact, uh, if you want to know the history of uh, Glassdoor, uh, it, it's a spin-off from TripAdvisor. So, as you know, TripAdvisor is a review site for hotels and uh, for specific places. It, it's the same owner who started um, Glassdoor as well, but then it spun off as a as a as a separate company. A couple of things that I do want to uh, request you is if you you know if you are att- if you are attending this webinar from laptop or even from mobile for that matter, uh, keep your Glassdoor site handy. So I, I really want you to do a couple of activities. Um, and also, uh, please be active on chat. Um, while we're going to take questions at the end of the session, but there is an interactive activity that I want all of you to contribute, uh, you know, so, so that we don't feel like a one-way session. So we're going to cover the Glassdoor bit for recruitment and employer branding both. Um, why review sites have suddenly, or not suddenly, but gradually, kind of gain importance is the whole fact that employer branding as a topic is is now uh, one of the most important parts of the recruitment and also the employee engagement process today candidates ju- just don't uh, you know get uh, start their search without knowing for employer they do their proper research so actually if you go to google and type your company name, the company that you represent, or any clients that you are part of, and say review. So if I do that by myself, um, you know, if I say anything, you know, uh, PWC review, more often than not, you would see the first entry of Glassdoor. And these keywords, uh, company and review, are getting a lot more popular in the Google searches because for the sheer fact that today candidates like customers are really being, being, being uh, uh, informed about what kind of company that they are into. Uh, or they, they want to be part of like you today you don't start if you are if you are going to buy a new uh, electronics item if you want to buy uh, any any shoes even for that matter you actually do a good in-depth research either on e-commerce site or on review sites or even for that matter hotel uh, when you select um, you actually go to make my trip and trip advisor to understand what what are the what are other people are saying and that exactly what's happening with employers today the employer branding in my mind is really about what our employees are saying and not what hr and recruiters and marketing are saying because obviously every the hr and marketers will talk good things about company because that's their job but employees on the other hand will provide more transparent and trustworthy view to the external candidates whether this company is good enough or not and that's where if you were part of uh, kunjal session earlier where he talked about employee advocacy that has started to become a very very important topic for hr recruitment marketing and i know a lot of ceos today are very active just to give an example uber ceo actually goes on Glassdoor and respond to some of the reviews. And I know a lot of companies today have started to bring that visibility to their C-level suite and a lot of CHR and CXO actually care about these reviews. So again, this is just the first thing. If 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 you've already tried, I'm sure you would have got Glassdoor link in first few uh, few listings itself and that's how Glassdoor gets the traffic the whole motto behind Glassdoor is to really um, is to really build a, like a, you know recruit informed candidates and that's what their motto is the first is to tell the story of the company how good the company is what kind of employees that they have what kind of their experience again is a lot of space that I'll talk about and show you some examples where uh, the, the companies are showcasing a lot of videos and content uh, as part of their profile, as part of their enhanced profile. And again, that uh, they, 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 they now go, go to their employees um, 
and ask them to review. So again, think of it when you complete your Uber, uh, you know, Uber drive, <laughs> not in the lockdown period, but think of pre-lockdown. And hopefully that starts uh, again at some point of time. Uh, an Uber driver after completing your ride would ask you kindly uh, with, um, hopefully if he gives, he or she gives you a good experience, but yeah, please five star rating. They don't, you know, that's the same thing today happening for uh, employees. The, the good thing is we don't ask that question to employees when they leave company, but when they are already engaged. And that's one of the other things that I want to talk about today is recruitment is not just about getting more candidates. That's the end game. What's important is how do we attract, build awareness and engage candidates by a content marketing or by really leveraging good experiences. Again, the candidate experience and employee experiences become an important part. So again, how do we tell the stories that drive the brand visibility? Your brand has visibility, uh, whether they're good, bad, whatever be the case, right? But again, how do you tell that story to everyone increase your brand visibility and again just because you are a million dollar or a billion dollar brand uh, doesn't mean you have a great brand brand is not is equal to worth of the revenue and the capital that company has it is worth of what employees are saying about your company when you are not in the room that is employer brand to me and glassdoor provides a great opportunity for you to engage your employees build their experiences and then use that to attract the job seekers. So that's the full cycle. So today, every job, most of the job seekers read at least six reviews. And again, that happens either part of the interview process, when they get an offer or when they are thinking of accepting an offer. I know for the fact that a lot of time, even if there is a job interview, if there is an offer that happens, a lot of employees go and search Glassdoor for the reviews. And again, there might be other employee review sites as well. No, that's not the point. While well, Glassdoor is the uh, most important uh, review site, I would say. So that, that helps them to form the opinion of the company, whether it's a good company, whether it's a bad company. And again, I know a lot of you might have uh, reservations about, uh, you know, whether this is negative or positive. And I'll talk uh, about that in the Mythbusters section that I've specially created for you guys, uh, because I know there's a lot of myths around Glassdoor. Uh, there's some, some uh, you know, perceptions uh, that I, I, I hope to shackle uh, after today's, today's session. Um, and nine out of 10 job seekers find employer perspective useful uh, when learning about jobs and company. So the employees today, while they are voicing their opinion on social media, on Glassdoor, are helping job seekers to really understand what does it mean, what does it mean to work in that company? What does it mean? to uh, thrive in that company, whether it's a good company for me, whether it is, it would help me to build uh, more, uh, more visibility, more, uh, you know, more, uh, is this a company where I want to work and stay, if not all for long, but, um, you know, where I can build my career. So again, there are more and more job seekers are learning uh, uh, through Glassdoor. Okay, so now comes the quiz time. Uh, let me. So now, if you can go into the chat box, go into the chat box and actually talk about uh, and, and answer some of these questions. So the first question is what percentage? of Glassdoor users are men? And again, please don't Google. I uh, uh, I trust you for that, but can you, okay, some say 70%, about 70%, 60%. Again, do a wild guess. Guys, please, I mean, I can make out if someone is Googling. Maybe 45%, 60%, 63%. Okay, interesting. Okay, so answers are ranging, I think, somewhere around 60, 70. I think some are talking 45. So the right answer is men, 49% uh, is the right answer. 49% of users are men. I think 51% are women, which is, again, great for attracting gender diversity. Uh, 
right? Second question, what percentage of people on Glassdoor says that they are okay or satisfied with the company? So again, what percentage of people who would say that I'm okay or satisfied with the company? Okay, 65, 30, 20, right? I see extreme right from 10% to 80%. Okay. And again, I'm sure this will this this answer will surprise you and give you a lot of uh, insight. So the right answer is 75%. If you think about it, uh, a lot of us think that Glassdoor is a rant site where everyone just go and rant. If that would have been the case, 75% wouldn't have been there. That means 75% people are satisfied or okay with the company they don't hate their companies right okay so right this i know is 75 percent yes you're close uh what percentage of glassdoor visitors are millennials what percentage of glassdoor visitors are millennials 80 70 85 60 42 95 okay so the right answer is 62 percent right answer is 62 percent are millennials that means uh, contrary to some of the uh, you know engagement of uh, the discourse that it is pretty much balanced for freshers or graduate or entry-level professionals to experienced professionals and uh, so it's not just a review site for the, for a fresher, but a lot of experience level around, I would say 40% of experience level professional or senior level people who go, go and review us in Glassdoor. And last question is what percentage of people visit Glassdoor from mobile? Okay, 95, 70, 50. Ninety percent, seventy percent. Okay, again, most of you are saying over is seventy percent, um, and it's maybe fifty to seventy percent. I would say, but yeah, the right answer is fifty-four percent. So half of the Glassdoor traffic that comes today is through mobile. There is a mobile app available on iOS and Android, so I would recommend you to download that. Uh, it's an easy way to search. So again, thank you so much, all of you, uh, for being support. Um, I just hope uh, that gives you some idea of the statistics. And again, I know law recruitment community loves data and uh, you know these uh, the data points. Uh, we can't say data is oil now, but <laughs> data is important. Um, okay, so. Uh, again, just again, few more numbers. Why Glassdoor really matters? Uh, Glassdoor uh, has has uh, has kind of gradually came into Indians' recruitment scenario. It's a US-based site, uh, but today Glassdoor gets a lot of traffic from India. Um, again, for for uh, again, I've been a vid user for Gla of Glassdoor uh, myself, and we've been using uh, you know, for really a lot of years. Uh, the lot of uh, traffic that comes from India as well, and because a lot of multinational companies are there in India, and that's that's where uh, the traffic really started. But I, I see a lot of Indian-based companies have started to gain momentum on Glassdoor as well, especially um, the ones who care about their employer brand. Uh, let me let me say that way. But just just from a sheer number perspective, 67 million unique monthly visitors again let that sink in 67 million and i can wholeheartedly say around 40 percent of that traffic is coming from india it's a huge um india uh, you know has has a huge uh, uh traffic share for glass store here for the fact that there's so much of hiring and so much of talent available on glass store 11 million job listings again having a job on Glassdoor, you can have it for free. Obviously the sponsored bit is paid, but you can simply, Glassdoor can simply scrape your career website and add the jobs if you have the right profile. And if you, uh, uh, if you own uh, the profile 
obviously you need to claim the profile for that you have to have a company email id and there's a lot of times sometimes they ask you to provide a um, approval from someone at a director or a senior director or a vp level so please if you have not already done that please 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 do that because if you don't care employees are your candidates are anyway scaring your employees are already going to your glassdoor profile and writing reviews so i think it's about time that all of us really care about the companies that we represent if you are part of a uh, third party consulting um, or exec search firm while well, obviously you can do that for yourself but take that as a data point to your client while you build a recruitment strategy talent attraction strategy work on the overall recruitment plan with them uh, you know consult them about what is their online presence 49 million reviews again it's not just reviews for employees there are salary reviews and insights as well there's a salary tool for glassdoor as well which we will talk about which amalgamate all of the information that employees give at the time of the review and give you some range about what a typical software engineer in pune versus mumbai versus delhi earn at what level obviously again as uh, for any other tool this data would give you the information that uh, it's crowd sourced information so it may or may not be 100% accurate but if you are doing market intelligence this is a tremendous piece of information there are over 900k employers that line lakh employers today using glassdoor the um, again the point is whether you are using or not average rating for company is 3.4 so uh, glassdoor average rating rate from 1 to 5 5 being the best and 1 being lowest there is no zero rating no one can give you zero rating even if india has invented zero uh, <laughs> so yeah it is 1 to 5 but again just going back to mythbusters if if that glassdoor would have been a rant a uh, website this would have been one this would have been two where everyone is super super unhappy with their companies and just come here to rant it in fact this score was 3.3 last year today it is 3.4 that means more and more employees are going on glassdoor and they're just not ranting but they are providing authentic review 88% of people who use glassdoor search and apply to the jobs right so again showcase your story what employees say what employee employees are saying does that match to the story that you have and then whether you have jobs available 88% of hiring managers view informed candidate as quality candidate so again a lot of time you're in your uh, hiring manager who are this question okay tell me something about my company right today glassdoor is becoming that tool where employer if prospective employees are researching so again your hiring managers um, i'm sure would be uh, would need to know about this at the same time their interview process is also being impacted positively or negatively by glassdoor because people are already looking at your interview experience reviews candidate reviews Uh, where they are either happy or not happy with the way the interview is conducted before even the land interview 95% of job seekers want to be informed about aspects of job before accepting again this is super important because this helps us or this helps um, job seekers to drive the information whether they want to really work at your company what's it like working at um this company in uh, in in uh, in for in you know maybe infrastructure department or in finance department or in retail or in uh, in in technology department right so again lot of people are job seekers are becoming more aware 30% greater retention among hires who use glassdoor again this is a proven data point it will basically go up and down depending on the company that you look at but again think about this people who you hire through glassdoor they not just your they don't have the typical journey that your uh, job portal would have or nokri or monster or sometime even linkedin you have they don't just come to glassdoor to apply to those jobs they come to glassdoor to look at what kind of company that you are and then make an informed decision to join yes or no right again that's where because they already understand the kind of culture the kind of place that is uh, the kind of again it's not about being coolest and sexiest company on the earth it's about whether this company matches 
the kind of professional I am, the kind of culture that I want to be part of, whether it's very aggressive culture where I do want to grow, I do want to earn money, I do want to travel, or whether there is a company who provides really uh, good life, work-life balance and uh, amenities. And again, that also depends on what kind of employees and what kind of technology sector, so what kind of sectors that you are and so on and so forth. So again, there is some um, impact of the hires that you do to retention. Again, it's really up to you whether you measure that and for that, whether you track your hires to Glassdoor. And lastly, as I said, 74% or 75% people are okay about this. So this is what we're going to learn today. I will give you some live demos of what kind of Glassdoor profiles that you can create. Again, there is a paid profile and free profile called the enhanced version. Uh, some of the companies the uh, you know who really deeply care about their Glassdoor reputation and also have budgets to go with that, uh, have the enhanced profile, but that does not mean that uh, the free profiles cannot do things. The one of the big thing that's coming out in the employee experience era is employee listening. And again, I, uh, I would really encourage all recruiters to understand this. It's, you might say, oh, this is about internal HR and we don't have to do anything about this because we just go out and hire more people. The fact today that your employees, what they say about your company, whether it's in your internal global surveys, I know a lot of companies have started to do a lot of agile ways of surveys, uh, more pulse kind of surveys. Uh, to understand the real-time employee sentiments, their moodometers and all of that, is to really understand and listen and respond to their concerns and what they like and what they don't like, right? So again, this is one of the employee and, uh, sentiment analysis, employee listening bit, which is whether you like it or not as a recruitment professional is impacting the way you hire, you attract and you engage talent. Next time when you do an onboarding or when you interview someone, just ask them out of curiosity, how many people have gone to your Glassdoor profile and have checked the reviews? And I'm sure you'll be surprised by the number of people who has done that, especially for uh, um, the financial services, the banking, the technology, uh, the services sector. Uh, you know, the online reviews are becoming more and more important. So we're going to do a lot, talk a lot about some of that. What kind of reviews, what kind of recruitment solutions that they have. Talk about salary tool. Uh, and lastly is Mythbusters. So, let me dive down. So again, guys, I'm not looking into uh, the um, uh, the reviews just now because, uh, oh, sorry, your comment just now because we, I'll take that later. So if you again open up just PWC reviews, um, you can, uh, again, this is a new thing that Glassdoor has started. It's now prompts companies and uh, job seekers to understand what are the COVID-19 uh, related steps or news that company wants to push uh, considering that's a, that's a very important topic today. Um, so again, uh, you might see uh, alert like that. So again, if, if you see this profile, it says it's an engaged employer. That means PwCs are proactively working with Glassdoor to look at the reviews. It's just that it does not have an enhanced profile. Uh, if you it would have had enhanced profile, it would have had a lot of different. Um, so maybe we can uh, you know check another company where we know uh, possibly they would have an enhanced profile. So the enhanced profile is a version uh, where you would you would be able to post. So this is Accenture. Um, to take an example. Uh, you would have their profile. You have a banner to go with information about Accenture. Again, uh, you know, you can talk a lot about content. Uh, you can post company updates like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Again, as an employee, uh, as a candidate, I can choose to follow this company so that the, all the updates that this company would look at would directly come to me. Um, and then again, you, know, you can do a lot of, uh, add a lot of other content about future. There is, so this is the rating of uh, Accenture given by employees. If you click on it, again, I'm not having any special access. This is the access that you guys can also have. Um, uh, again, if you look at, uh, it has overall 3.9 reviews, but at the same time, any, any uh, employee 
can go and give review for five, so six different segments, culture and values, work-life balance, senior management, company band, and career opportunities. And it will show overall trends. There's also recommended to friend. So for any company, okay, let's just go uh, to, I don't know. Okay, can you give me um, a company that you want to, you, you want me to uh, look at, guys? In this, in the, in the chat. Can you recommend any company that? Okay, Fidelity International. I see. So, uh, okay, I see investment. And uh, okay, I see Fidelity International. Okay, so Fidelity International seems to have an enhanced profile. They're an engaged employer. Um, and as you would see, it has, uh, you know, this is the overall overview. There is, uh, uh, you know, there's some video around working at Fidelity. Uh, there are some tabs which talks about what we're working here, professionals, alumni, technology. Uh, it is connection to the social media channels. There's a social media stream going on. It has 36 uh, rating, uh, which is above average, 70 first. So when, when, let's say, if I'm the employee for Fidelity International, I would click on add a review. It would ask certain information for me, right? So again, uh, this is the company. What is your overall rating? Uh, so this is about employee as a current or a formal review. Uh, a current or a former employee, then what is your, so you can give, uh, uh, you know, out of five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what is your employment status, full-time, part-time contract? What is your job title? Review headline. What do you want to have as a review headline? What are the pros? So, and that's a, that's the thing with Glassdoor. It does not just ask, okay, openly what it is review. It asks, what is the pros? What are things that you like in the company? And what are the things that you do not like or are uh, not great working at the company? And lastly is advice to management. Now, once you, once you do that, it also asks you optional ratings around career opportunities, company ben, work-life balance, senior management, and cultural and values. Again, these ratings does not have any impact on the overall rating. These are separate ratings. So don't think that the average of these optional ratings is, is, is this. People can give five here, but they can give four or three here. Uh, so these, these are just around to know more about what in the company you really like and what is something that to be improved. Again, you can rate CEO and as, uh, as a company or as an HR or recruiter, you can actually go in the back end of your profile and choose a com choose your CEO name. So your employees can actually give a thumbs up or thumbs down to your CEO. Again, while this is might be seems to be a global CEO, if you have an enhanced paid version, you can actually have special India CEO, US CEO, Europe CEO, whatever be the case. Whether you would recommend this to a friend, yes or no, again, NPS score. What is your six month business outlook? Whether you you think the company is gonna go up or down uh, and in the length of your employment and location again location is important because that's how they track which country that you have left review so this is an overall review and again I want to stress again and again that even if I have a paid, paid profile even if I do not have a paid profile I have a great relationship unless the review um, uh, uh, does not violate the community guidelines that Glassdoor has put in, which is aggressive and discriminatory language, uh, profanities, or trade secret or confidential information, or maybe you know client names or any individual names someone might want to rant about an individual. Those reviews you can flag. Uh, as an HR or as an employee and then uh, uh, Glassdoor would review those uh, re reviews and they would delete it if they find the reviews are not sticking to gui community guidelines but just because you find a review where a candidate sorry where an employee is frustrated with your company but they have mentioned all the uh, valid reasons in terms of to uh, I mean when I say valid uh, from a guideline perspective technical guideline perspective the review stays you pay millions of dollars as a contract to Glassdoor Glassdoor will never ever remove the review 
and again i've been working with glassdoor since 2016 and for last my four years uh, uh, you know we uh, through our conversations and learnings um, you know i can definitely say that uh, even after having uh, you know uh, whatever kind of contract they will not remove because for them the employees or the people who are reviewing they are obviously as important as anything else because if they if, if the trust that they have built with your employees are not there obviously people will not stop coming to glassdoor and that would uh, you know diminish their brand so this is one thing i definitely wanted to clarify because i know a lot of you would have again you can go through the community guidelines to understand what is allowed and what's not and again if you see um, you know if you want to see the reviews you can click on the reviews and you would see a lot of reviews again pros and cons uh, you can have you can feature one uh, review if you are part of the uh, online so the enhanced profile and all other pro, uh, you know reviews as you see are either good bad or you know whatever be the case you know some reviews you will see bad some reviews you will see good and that's the way of life right i mean and uh, you know you being in an hr and recruitment knows that not everyone may be happy with your company um, and obviously you can't uh, you know you don't have a magic wand to make everyone happy about your company so there might there will be some negative reviews and as a hr or recruiter i would say you you know you have to take it with pinch of salt and use this as an opportunity rather than a very very big risk and a reason for not to get into glassdoor it's like you will not ask an employee how good company is because you might feel that 10% of people will say no now don't think just think about 10% think about the opportunity that 90% of people would bring it if not if 100% of people are unhappy about your company believe me your company would cease to exist and that's not how business work you know the fact that you are growing the fact that you are doing a good business is because that the employees are getting good experience out of it some may not which is fine but again think about people who are getting right so again this is what it is uh, in terms of reviews you can add jobs so again people can go to jobs again these jobs uh, are also sent as newsletters every now and then by glassdoor um, so that that's how they attract so again you will see a lot of jobs mostly scraped from the career page or maybe they have a xml field from the uh, the site uh, from the recruitment site there are salary reviews as well so again you can check out in fidelity what you know based on the inputs that their employees give what is the salary levels for each for their uh, um, uh, you know specific job titles or the level again think of this this is a crowdsource information so you might just say oh there is no technical analyst position in my company uh, yeah it might be the fact but again it's this is how employees define themselves so again use this as a guideline don't go this by uh, like a black and white or a uh, the, the data to look at but again you will see a lot of good information coming out of it you can similarly you can go to your um, competition and check their salary reviews as well again you can filter that with specific city specific job status and find salaries uh, there, there is a salary tool as well so if you say glass door salary tool right so you can actually search for salaries and compensation uh, okay I, I would say um i don't know icici bank in pune right and this is the information that you get again you can filter the information by specific locations for specific things right so again use this as i said use this with uh, with your own sense of judgment Again, it, it would give you uh, average base, what is the deviation, um, again, what are the related salaries to some of the other companies and if you want to create a job alert. Uh, it also actually has some really good, uh, so if I go back to Fidelity, there are sections that ca candidates and employees can talk about their benefits. So if you if your company is doing amazing in terms of benefits for gender diversity for uh, for women for normal employees as well uh, freshers graduates or senior level professionals you know you can see all of that information and ask employees to post it 
So when a candidate would visit Fidelity, they would see, oh, wow, I didn't know that it has a maternity or paternity leave or a vacation or paid time off or healthcare and insurance, right? So again, use that. Also for recruitment, what is important is um, the candidate experience interviews. So when someone is not an employee, but you, uh, you have given them a great candidate experience as part of interview process, they can go and review on Glassdoor but the scores are different. So in this case, 62% of people have positive reviews about Fidelity. 17% are neutral and 21% negative. And you can see a lot of tons of information about how the experience was. Again, whether it's a freshers, whether it is, uh, you know, what did the process you followed. And this gives you a really good insight of what people like, especially your candidates like or does not like. Right. So please view this information. It will give you tons of uh, analysis um, for reviews. Uh, if you have, a, if you get a glass door profile, uh, you can actually respond to some of the reviews. I see there are no reviews being responded, but again, one of the best practices is to respond to reviews. When you respond to the reviews, it helps you to build a brand and trust that the company is listening to what I'm saying and their employees, it feels great that someone is listening to me. Good thing with Glassdoor is it does not add um, like a thread kind of a functionality. Uh, you can just give a review a response and then that's it. People for employers who do not have enhanced profile, you can anyways go and have uh, read all the reviews. The only thing that you may not be able to do is put up a nice brand employer branding content that I'm currently showing. But apart from that, you can have a login, you can get a login, uh, you can view all the reviews, read all of it, integrate all of your jobs, uh, add photos as well. Uh, so again, it gives you an opportunity to add some office photos. I'm sure again, uh, that, uh, that adds to a, a good experience. Um, uh, you know, all of that. So that's the only thing that an enhanced profile will not be able to do uh, is to put this branding information uh, on the uh, profile page, but rest all is available to free profile as well. So please claim if you haven't engaged with Glassdoor and maybe, you know, over the period of time, when you start seeing the good results, you may want to engage with them at a, at a, at a large, ladder stage. Right. So again, this is the, this is the whole, uh, profile, uh, from profile bit. I spoke about recruitment solutions. So again, uh, while you can add link, a uh, direct uh, scrape from your career pages, um, whether it's a enhanced profile or not, and you get a lot of, uh, good traffic. One thing that I would recommend is if you're using a recruitment system, an ATS, a good ATS, uh, the, uh, you ask them to directly integrate with Glassdoor rather than your career page. Because if you do that, you will be able to track the source of hire in your recruitment system, which may not happen if they move from uh, from a career page. But again, I will leave that to you. But from my experience, the direct integration between ATS and Glassdoor proves more uh, faithful, uh, more effective because you're able to track. Also, it's important when you use a new system is to track the number of people visit, what is a drop off ratio, how many people end up applying, all of that into your recruitment system. So you know whether this is generating any good candidates, what kind of candidates are you getting? In my experience, Glassdoor is fairly good for a junior and mid-level. I haven't seen too much of uh, penetration from leadership level jobs or very senior level jobs uh, because they typically have a different journey. Uh, but not to mention that you shouldn't post these jobs on Glassdoor, but I'm saying uh, in the I think sweet spot for Glassdoor is around mid or junior level uh, professionals. We spoke about salary tools. So this is, I mean, from a profile perspective, this is what I wanted to show. Again, you can have affiliated companies. Um, uh, you know, you can have tons of different information. But I think, again, most important thing is to look, listen to the reviews. Use that as part of, again, you will see a lot of good things that people are talking about. Use them to brand your company. So, again, if you look at the, uh, the reviews, I'm sure there are some good things that 
uh, like okay for this company employee friendly work life balance and free food free cab or you know th- those seems to be pros so can if you know this is what people like about your company maybe use that into your employer branding or recruitment marketing in terms of talking about the good things uh, again if you see there are some cons obviously every company will have cons use that to relay this information internally to hr or leadership one again one uh, quick tip hack tip that i do want to give is tell your ceos that they are being rated on glassdoor that's a great way to get their attention to glassdoor and help you to build a business case around this uh, i'm sure if so you once your ceo comes to know that you know what my i have 95 ratings oh wow that's great or maybe this is less oh wow, I, i'm not rated good okay why is that and what does this all about that generate a lot of interest even to the ceo uh, side of things and help you to get more buy in because again a, a lot of uh, external um, parties like ex- uh, the research or the analyst the financial analyst today have started using glassdoor as a benchmark to relate to the financial reports of the company and the share performances so glassdoor today is not a just a, a third party tool to uh, for some people to vent i think it has evolved to become a really a strategic tool for your company where you would need to care about what people are saying externally because that builds a brand and that helps you either to attract top talent or just get the leftovers or leftover talent in the market uh, who really doesn't care about what kind of culture that your company has because they just are looking for salaries so again that's what glassdoor in nutshell uh, i do want to have uh, want to give you some uh some myth busters so again um i know a lot of you would have some uh, views around what glassdoor is and what it is first it is not a rant site if you if you have to work on glassdoor or maybe any other review site i think there are some uh there's indeed also has a review site and uh, there are some others in us as well any review site please remove the mentality the blockage that this is a rant site it's a review site that contains both pros and cons and i had proved you with the data point that 75% people think they are okay or happy or satisfied in the company so only 25% people rant and that's the business as usual it happens everywhere so please remove that it is a rant site anybody can post whatever that they want in glassdoor no only truthful and constructive reviews are encouraged but closing disclosing the confidential information irrelevant details personal information is total no no and you can report the reviews where you see this glassdoor is focused only on job seeker needs it is a myth it is focused on entire employee experience how does your brand how does your brand is in the market and then using that to attract i think that's the difference between typical job sites that we use and glassdoor is because it uses the the positive negative employee experience content to attract and help candidates whether this is the right company for me or not employer can manipulate reviews again i spoke about this this is absolutely myth employers can not manipulate even if they have a billion dollar contract you can play to pay to glassdoor's best places to work so there is a best places to work award not just i'm currently not in india but i hope uh it starts in india it's there in some of the european and us but again i'm been uh, you know we've been part of some of them and uh we won some captain has won some of the awards um in in uh, in uk and germany which i'm really proud of uh, but again they were totally based on the employee reviews so the the thing is you need to go to your right employees and ask them and gen, you know generate good reviews right uh so again that's one of the things i can definitely say please start with yourself go on glassdoor and put up a transparent review do not give any copy paste template and ask everyone to say your company is the best in the world please you know the people would make out if you uh, do things like that ask people to be transparent and open um you know while writing the reviews let them write good and bad please do not be defensive this is part of us being open and if social media the one thing that social media gives us is a transparent view 
good and bad and we need to learn to deal with negative uh, and turn that into positive sentiments and not to stay away from it glassdoor can help employers to another source of negative employee or company reviews absolutely wrong you uh, all the reviews are anonymous and you cannot find who wrote it unless someone is writing the review name in the review which again we can't do anything about it but even that happens uh, it is not as per the um, guideline or the view uh, guidelines that class was built only gen z millennial research uh, companies uh, on glassdoor again absolutely not we talked about data 40 percent which is a large part is not gen z they are gen x and uh, the some of them may be uh, senior level people. So it's fairly uh, distributed. Uh, obviously, the leadership level is a different ballgame altogether. So again, 86% of the Glassdoor candidates have more than four years of experience, which is again a staggering piece of information. Employers cannot request employees to write reviews about their company. Absolutely false. You can very well go to your employees and ask them for review. Just the way you would go them and <clears throat> and ask them to build build a survey right you can absolutely ask them to go and do a review because tell them that they, the reviews are anonymous not give them any copy pasted template and let them write what they feel from inside do not tell them please write a positive review or please write good things about our training and uh, uh, you know all of that externally people can make out that you have done that so and that will destroy your brand because brand is built on transparency and trust if that's not built in built into glassdoor strategy you're not gonna do you're not gonna get any uh, view employees have no voice on glassdoor <coughs> sorry absolutely not you have very well your voice uh, whether it's a free uh, enhanced profile or not you can very well have a voice uh, as i said you can uh, put your company information uh, you can start to send an update to your people whom you're following like facebook linkedin twitter like right? you are posting an update you can respond to your reviews and that's number one thing that uh, I, I would encourage you to do even if someone has uh, law most of the reviews are always mixed some people would say good things and they would say bad things acknowledge them that just make you human and make your company human there is no company who is always You know, the one thing that I want to, if you want to take out of this session is Glassdoor, as the name suggests, will only amplify whether you're good or bad company. It's not going to fix an image saying, oh, today I want to be a coolest company in Mumbai or Pune or Bangalore. No, unless your company employees feel that and they shout that onto Glassdoor, you're not going to do that. Right. So please do not use Glassdoor as a shiny uh, marketing platform. It is a marketing platform, but it's a trustworthy marketing through voice of your employees, which builds a talent brand. So again, starter pack for your recruiters. This is what I would recommend you guys do some, if not all, at least start it somewhere. Take a stock of your current content review and profile. Just go on Glassdoor and see what you, what's currently with your empl uh, employer uh, profile. Is it been taken care? It's not. Can you claim? If you have claimed, can you start putting some content? Can you respond to some, some of the reviews? Claim your company for free and integrate to your career page jobs. So you can uh, add your career page jobs for free. Encourage your candidates to write reviews about the interview. Again, think about it. Maybe through your recruitment system or emailers that you send, you can just have a line saying after the interview is done, hey, uh, you know, thanks for being, uh, thanks for having a great discussion with us. We will, uh, we will come back. Blah, blah. By the way, if you, you know, we encourage you to leave a review on Glassdoor about your interview experience. You know, a simple line, but it would change a lot of things and which, but only do that if you know your recruitment process is, is worthy enough to talk. 
proactively listen to your employees and respond to few reviews to build trust. I spoke about this. Please while in your email signature, career website and recruiting campaigns to show that how good your company is, not just by those corporate videos where all employees are smiling and dancing and, you know, like feeling great on the heaven on the earth, but actually tell them that, you know, if you want to uh, hear real stories, please go to our glass door. Ne uh, identify brand ambassadors inside your company who can share their experiences. I can work with HR, work with marketing to find those people, maybe at the onboarding stage where you know you have given a great experience to employees uh, as part of the onboarding process. Again, when you do onboarding, there's an email that goes to them uh, with all the formality. Just add a line about Glassdoor or when you, uh, as an HR process, uh, you know, you do a, a promotions, you do, do any events or uh, you do any good things for employees, um, you know, just write, ask them to review or nudge them to review us on Glassdoor. That has worked wonders for companies, the companies like SAP, uh, who who taken their uh, uh, rating from 3.7 to 4.2 in a matter of one and a half year, it, it takes time, guys. It does take time, but when it goes up, it you know it, it will stay there for longer because again, you're not just doing the, this for Glassdoor's sake; you're actually fixing the internal issues as well. Never ever fabricate pseudo reviews, ever. Period. Remember, Glassdoor will not correct your cultural issues and will make your company look good. Focus on employee experience and candidate experience. Leverage moments that matter in candidate employee journey to seed Glassdoor touch points. Again, seed Glassdoor touch points wherever you work with your HR, talent management team, employee engagement initiatives. If you, uh, you know, create a new event. Now, again, a lot of people are working from home and I'm sure you guys would have done a phenomenal job to enable them to work from home. You know, as part of one of the employee engagement initiatives or whatever, we can just add a line. If you're having, uh, if you think, uh, you know, your company has done good enough for you to enable work from home, why don't you review some Glassdoor? Any gender diversity initiatives, any CSR initiatives, then why not? If you're doing good for employees, you can very well ask them to review for yourself. Track your traffic and hires. We spoke about it. Encourage your employees to share photos on Glassdoor, which you can do that. And I showed you that. And introduce Glassdoor to your business HR marketing leadership. Get them involved. Uh, and that is, again, worked wonders for companies. A lot of companies have succeeded because this is not an HR or recruitment initiative where you guys can be flag bearers and starters to do this. But you have to work with your leadership, HR and marketing to really show the impact of what employees are saying and that impacts internal growth and retention, but external attraction and recruitment as well. If only if you are looking at recruitment over and beyond transactional recruitment, which I'm surely all of you are, uh, you know, do very strategic level of recruitment and your companies take recruitment very, very strategically in terms of hiring top talent. So that's a, that's all I wanted to share. Um, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure this would have given you some insights in terms of, what uh, what has worked again? A very simple starter pack to begin with uh, to start your journey. Obviously, you can do a lot of advanced level things. Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of companies like like again for Capgemini, we've gone from 3.2, 3.2 to 3.8 today, and we are definitely one of the top brackets in the top companies to work. Um, and, and again, it takes time. It takes takes effort, and not not a one. Uh, you know, not a two minute mm, kind of a Maggie kind of a scenario, right? Um, I'm just going through chat. Uh, are there any examples, uh, sorry, any questions that you have? Is it possible to know whether employees are rating or competitor rating are giving wrong rating? So again, don't, it's not about wrong rating. There's nothing called as a wrong rating. It is about what you, so again, when you go to Uber and rate, uh, how, how, you know, does Uber tell you or ask you, oh, is this a right or wrong rating? No, it is what you felt, right? So there's no right or wrong rating. Please, again, uh, do not take it from that perspective. It is what people think and experience about 
yourself. What's your advice to consulting and can client requirement? Absolutely, client requirements can be posted without a doubt. Um, can we respond to reviews if we do not have enhanced profile? Absolutely. Responding to reviews uh, is a basic thing that anyone, if you claim a profile, uh, would be able to do. How can we show that these ratings are not created by a current employer to improve overall rating? Because two things. One is if they track IP addresses, number one, and you can very well make out. Again, if uh, employers are doing this, like they're putting some pseudo or seeded reviews, they are, you know, that's what they are doing. Because today people are informed. This is like, you know, when you go to um, uh, Amazon, you find so many five star reviews where people have just made great product, great product, great product. And you can very well make out that's a seeded review. That's someone who would have just put in to enhance. You can do, I mean, anyone can figure that out on Glassdoor as well. And if there is a stream of reviews, in fact, in 2012, there was a big uh, PR. Um, disaster that happened for one of the companies because they actually did this they've asked yeah i did get a third party agency to write some reviews uh, for them but it backfired because people found out that those reviews were seeded so again people can uh, find out how to post review so post jobs again you can when you Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, sorry, the sorry, guys. I'm back. Uh, there's a there's a power failure at my home. Um, but yeah, I, as I said, you can uh, you know you can definitely find out. Can reviews affect companies' growth in getting projects, best resources, and revenues? Yes. Short answer is yes. I can't tell you at to what extent, what percentage, and all of that, but it definitely affects. For some, it's larger. For some, it's small. But I know for the fact, a lot of m and deals, as part of their due diligence, they actually go and take, uh, you know, check the employee review. Because again, think about this. If you are looking for a merge and acquisition deal, you, you really want to know um, whether this company is good for me to work here or not. Also, this company is good even for acquisition based on what their employees are saying. Obviously, the financial statements is one thing, but employee if employees are not happy, obviously, uh, you know, uh, as famous Vinit Naya says, you know, employees come first. That really gives you a lot of clues about whether the company is good or bad and whether that's a good deal uh, for to do or not. Yes, companies can add Glassdoor widget uh, or even leave. I mean, widget is one thing, but you can just put a hyperlink of, uh, of, of your Glassdoor profile on your career site on your again, add that into your signature when uh, you know, you write an email or uh, when uh, you know, when you go out and post jobs, if not on the career, if not on a job portal, but on career site or somewhere else, right? Or on your LinkedIn, uh, part of your LinkedIn profile and so on and so forth. Can we find target companies on LinkedIn? Absolutely. You can go and review any target companies. By the way, if you want to explore, Glassdoor also has a paid campaign where you can target your competition. You can target specific demographics like okay, gender diversity, uh, women candidates in Pune, from IT companies, from zero to five years experience. Obviously, it's a paid campaign, so you will have to build a budget for that. They also have brand visibility campaigns. So again, I would let you to explore the paid ones, but yeah, you can also do free ones. Does Glassdoor have any form of knowing the companies using social media warriors to show up the reviews? So again, Glassdoor uh, will not kind of care whether they have social media warriors or not. The point is the content and the reviews, if they are trustworthy, if they are genuine, then obviously it doesn't matter how would they come from. Ideally, you know, when you say social media warriors, 
uh, I suppose you're saying the champ, brand champion. So yes, I mean that that's a good thing. But again, don't look at the the who's doing and what, and the, look at what's the end result, right? Now, whether it does by done by social media champs or HR or marketing or leaders, one of the good things that and in fact you can do is ask your business leaders to vouch for it. Ask your business leaders to send out an email or engagement where they can actually ask their employees to do, which is more trustworthy than, than HR or marketing doing it. Can we have some of the common pros and cons mentioned? There's, there's no common pros and cons. It really differs by, uh, by industry, by scale of the company and, and all of it. But typically, if you, know, if you ask me work-life balance, compensation, uh, the company culture, leadership, career growth, um, learning and development are the kind of talking points in, uh, in pros and cons. Can you help how to source? No, you can't source people from Glassdoor. This is not a candidate database. Candidates do not li like Indeed or LinkedIn. They don't create their uh, profile. Again, it's an anonymous site, guys. Again, if you uh, talk about it. So you can't source. But yes, you can post jobs and people can respond to your jobs. And Glassdoor can, can, can if you post a job on Glassdoor, whether if through a career site, it's your recruitment system, which will have CVs. But if you only post on directly post on Glassdoor, it will have uh, CVs as well. But again, you won't be able to search per se. Is there any way where people can search companies with certain minimum reviews like greater than? Um, I haven't seen good question, but I haven't seen any filter on Glassdoor where you, it asks you to search by reviews. Uh, yes, once you are inside the company, then maybe you can search little more there are more filters but no i haven't seen any specific filter can mention more on recruitment solutions okay um okay i'm just good reading few how can you post a job on glassdoor again i told you uh once you take a, a profile uh, claim the profile you'd be able to add your career page feed or career page url where it will take the jobs what are the success ratio of using Glassdoor's recruitment? Could you please share a quick live scenario? I okay, I don't know how I can share a quick live scenario, but um, I mean, success ratio it really depends. I mean, uh, just like LinkedIn, I mean, or any other channel, right? Again, it really depends on what whether you understand your target audience. Number one. Secondly, again, whether you invest into it. If you are just using it for free, obviously you will have limited. Uh, goodness out of it. Uh, but again, think of don't just use it for recruitment. That's what I'm again and again saying. Recruitment is the end outcome. Uh, but for that, you need to understand who comes to your profile. Uh, when, uh, when you have an enhanced profile section, you'll be able to understand the demographics, what kind of employee candidates are visiting your profile, uh, what is their demographics, which section they come from, what is their age group, what is their um, how many male, female, what industries and job titles that they have. So obviously as much you invest, as much outcome that you will get, if you're just doing using it for free, uh, obviously there's a limited uh, outcome. What percentage reviews are genuine on Glassdoor? Some startup write their own positive reviews. So today, the way I understand is that less than 2% reviews are removed from Glassdoor because they do not fit into their guidelines. And, uh, you know, no more, but more than 95% reviews, most reviews I, I found, again, I've been working with Glassdoor, are genuine. Yes, some companies will try to twist and twerk it. Um, but again, uh, in the long term, that wouldn't work. I mean, absolutely wouldn't work. In fact, that would go against company's brand. Okay. How can Glassdoor help attract candidates for some niche companies from media broadcast? Well, I can see I idea is uh, whether you understand one, what is your target audience, right? And wh whether, um, uh, you know, whether Again, one of the good ways of doing that is check your competition. Do they get 
good number of reviews or good number of profile and obviously because you would want to attract people from your competition if they don't have much especially the the big competition i'm saying that that that's a good kind of a benchmark to see your industry is well represented on glassdoor if you're uh, the largest competition have like one or two reviews then you can make out maybe your industry doesn't have a good representation obviously you can engage with glassdoor to ask that question but again that's on paid basis just 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 try and find out again uh, look at what kind of traffic that you're already getting uh, whether your other social media channels attract that kind of a uh, uh traffic if yes i'm sure glassdoor would be able to attract if this is a very very niche profiles where their online candidates are just not there again don't use think of glassdoor as a sourcing if you if you want to source very very niche profile i would still recommend you to look at linkedin and passive sourcing glassdoor is branding attraction and recruitment from all these angles but if you uh, um, you know and this is more about people who are either semi active or active candidates for a passive candidate who is not at all searching uh, glassdoor will not be source of hire but he or she will look at your employer profile when they decide to join or not join the company so you can think of glassdoor not just as a source of hire but as an influence of hire whether uh, you know there are there are ways where you can actually track uh, by using um, code onto your recruitment ats that what percentage of people uh, actually uh, go to glassdoor either before or after the application into your recruitment system and you will be staggered to know the number so that's the influence that glassdoor has again same goes for amazon right you might check a great uh, phone on amazon but you might walk into store to buy it because you wanted it today right so again there there are ways uh, in terms of uh, it, it can be used any useful feature of glassdoor that helps in diversity hiring or return of work so again i showed you uh, the profile section now in the profile section you can actually uh, put a lot of information about why work why work with us and i've seen a lot of companies put a section around uh, their diversity and inclusion which again would help your the videos that you get here or another thing you can you can encourage your employees who are part of the dni activities to put the reviews so that again it's not just the marketing content that people see but by the way you know they might see reviews where someone said oh wow this company has some great uh, uh, you know policies for the working women i was part of their uh, return to work program and talked about it and all of that right so again there are different ways that uh, dni can also have uh, the um, the impact okay i think we are over the time um i hope this was useful if not i mean i'm happy to continue the conversation um after this uh, what is the standard overall rating standard rating is 3.4 uh, can this deck will be shared with us yes uh, we will also uh, record uh, we are recording the session and this video will be put li live uh, sorry put on the sourcing at the uh, channel as well in case you need any further help please help you know feel free to reach out to me on my you know linkedin uh, handle um and and hopefully this was a useful session thank you so much to all of you for giving your valuable time and thank you so much for sourcing at the yusuf to give me an opportunity to present this um thank you so much yusuf yeah thank you thank you saran so thank you um, everyone thank you for joining us um, i would edit uh, this video and by today evening um, i should be posting it on the sourcing adda channel so um, i'll send you the link once the uh, video is uploaded so thank you everyone for joining thank you so much thank you saran